Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our third lesson on a given form 4 mathematics topic called differentiation. So we are looking at our second aspect on this particular topic which is called equation of a tangent and normal to a curve. So we're going to start by defining what we mean by a tangent. So in mathematics, we can say that a tangent is defined as a straight line. It is a straight line, a straight line uh, touching a curve, a straight line touching a curve at one point, at one point, but does not, it does not cut through, it does not cut through uh, the curve, it does not cut through the curve, when extended when extended or we can say when extrapolated when extrapolated so to extrapolate is simply to extend a line so suppose uh, this is our curve then in this particular case this is what we are calling a tangent this will be uh, a tangent to our curve so clearly you can see that uh, the tangent is simply a straight line uh, touching a curve at one point. So the one point in this particular case is uh, this point here. This is the point where our tangent is um, uh, that is touching the curve but does not cut through the curve when extended or when extrapolated. So when we extend this particular line or when we extrapolate it on both sides uh, of this particular line, you realize that at no point will this particular line cut through this particular curve. So this is what we are calling a tangent. Simply a straight line attaching a curve at one point but does not cut through at the curve when extended or when extrapolated. Now there's a key point we need to note is that uh, the gradient uh, the gradient of a tangent are uh, the gradient of a tangent uh, to a curve, the gradient of a tangent to a curve at a given point, at a given a point or at a particular point will always be equal to the gradient of the curve, the gradient of the curve, the gradient of the curve at the same point, at the same uh, point. So basically uh, what we are saying is that uh, if we want to find the gradient of this particular curve at this point where the tangent is uh, touching our curve, the gradient of this particular curve at this particular point will be equal to the gradient of this particular uh, tangent. Then of course this one will always be equal to the gradient of a curve at a point of course we usually uh, find the dy dx or we differentiate uh, the equation of that particular curve at the same point at the same uh, at the same point therefore the gradient of a tangent to a curve at a given point will always be equal to the gradient uh, of the curve at the same point of course which is equals to uh, the derivative that is dy dx of that particular curve and then of course you substitute uh, the coordinate at the same same uh, point now the second term we're gonna look at is what we call uh, a normal to a curve so we say a normal mathematically we can define it as a straight line it is a straight line it is a straight line uh, which is perpendicular a straight line uh, that is perpendicular to a curve perpendicular to a curve at a given point at a given uh, at a given uh, point for example, in this case, uh, this is what we are calling a normal. Uh, this is what we are calling a normal. You can see this particular normal is perpendicular to the curve through this particular point. Then, of course, clearly you can also see that the normal will always be perpendicular to the tangent. That is the angle between the tangent and the normal will always be 90 degrees. Therefore, we are saying that uh, in part of our NB, uh, we are saying that uh, a normal, a normal is always 
a normal is always a perpendicular a normal is always a perpendicular to a tangent uh, to a tangent uh, to the curve uh, to the curve through the same point to the curve through uh, the same point through the same point so what we are saying is that for example if we consider at this particular point here you can see that our tangent is perpendicular to the normal and from the equation of a straight line we know that uh, for perpendicular lines the product of their gradients should give us negative one therefore if i take the gradient if i take the gradient uh, of the curve uh, at a given point at a given point at a given point and remember we are saying that the gradient of a curve at a given point will always be equal to the gradient uh, the gradient of the tangent uh, will always be equal to the gradient of the tangent uh, through the same point through uh, the same point through the same uh, point so if I take this gradient then of course I multiply with uh, the gradient of the normal multiplied by the gradient of the normal uh, to the curve normal to the curve uh, to the curve at the same point at the same point at the same uh, point this particular product must always give us negative one so if i let the gradient of uh, this particular tangent to be m1 then of course i let the gradient of the normal to be denoted by m2 therefore it means that if i take m1 i multiply with uh, m2 uh, the answer will always be equal to uh, negative one therefore if i take the gradient uh, of the tangent multiplied by the gradient uh, of the normal the answer must always give me a uh, negative one so in simple terms in simple terms uh, this is what we are saying in simple terms we are simply saying that the gradient of the tangent uh, the gradient of the tangent multiplied by uh, the gradient of the normal uh, must always give you negative one that is m1 multiplied by m2 should always give you a negative one so this one applies to any uh, normal and its corresponding tangent through uh, a pointer on a given curve which is being shared by the normal and the tangent so we check an example uh, that is example 8 which is a past case equation tested in 1992 paper 2 question number 11 it reads find the equation of the tangent to the curve y is equals to 2x squared at the point 2 8 so to get the um, the gradient that is the equation we need to have the gradient and of course we are given one point so we are saying that the gradient uh, the gradient of the tangent the gradient of the tangent uh, will always be equal to uh, the gradient of the curve uh, through the same point of course which is given by uh, the derivative dy dx of course at the point uh, at the point uh, which is given as a uh, 2 8 therefore the derivative the gradient function dy dx will be given by we differentiate this equation so of course the 2 will pre multiply uh, the coefficient so we'll have 2 multiplied by 2 then x uh, power 2 then of course we subtract 1 from the uh, power so that means our dy dx will be equal to uh, 4 uh, x power 1 of course which is equal to uh, 4 x remember power one is just the same as saying uh, x therefore our gradient through the given point so dy dx uh, dy dx uh, through the point two eight of course this will be the x coordinate then this will be the y uh, coordinate will be given by 4x but our x coordinate of course is a uh, two therefore I'll substitute two so this will be equal to four by two of course i'm gonna get eight therefore this is the uh, gradient of the curve uh, which is always equal to uh, the gradient of the tangent uh. so gradient uh, of uh, the tangent the gradient of the tangent will be equal to uh, 8 which is equal to the uh, gradient of the curve 
Now that we already have the gradient, we can easily uh, get the equation of uh, that particular uh, tangent uh, to the curve uh, given. To get the equation, we need two things. Uh, we need the given point, which is uh, 2, 8. Then, of course, we pick a general point, uh, x, y. So I'm going to let this to be my x1, then, of course, y1. This to be x2, then uh, y2. So uh, then, of course, this is the gradient. Uh, this is our gradient. Now, we know that the general form of uh, the equation of the gradient will be given by a gradient. Uh, the gradient will always be given by change in y, which is y2 minus y1 of a change in x, which is uh, x2 minus x1. So because our gradient was uh, 8, it means that uh, we're going to have uh, 8 uh, being equal to uh, y2. y2, of course, will be y. So I'll take y minus uh, y1, of course, is uh, positive 8 divided by x2. Uh, x2, of course, is x minus x1 is uh, 2. So I'll make this a fraction so that I can do cross multiplication. So this multiplies with that and of course this with that. So I'm going to have uh, 8 into x uh, minus 2 being equal to 1 into y minus 8. So this will be 8x uh, minus 8 by 2. I'll get 16 being equal to 1 times y. I'll get y minus 1 times 8. I'll get 8. Then I take this to this other side so that I'm having 8x. Uh, minus 16, then of course plus 8 will be equal to y, therefore 8x uh, minus a negative 16 plus 8, of course I'll get negative 8, uh, which is equal to y, therefore y is equal to uh, 8x, then minus uh, 8, and this is what we are calling the uh, equation of the tangent. So the question was find the equation of the tangent, uh, so the equation, uh, equation of the tangent, equation of the tangent to our curve will be given by y is equals to 8x minus 8. Then of course the equation is in the, the general form which is always y is equals to mx plus c. We check our next example which is example 9 which is also a past case question tested in 1999 at paper 2 question number 16. It reads find the equation of a tangent to the curve y is equals to into bracket x squared plus 1 into x minus 2 when x is equals to uh, 2. So to find the equation, we need, of course, the derivative. So we shall need to get the gradient first of all. So the gradient, uh, gradient of the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, of course, will be equal to the gradient of the curve, which is dy uh, dx, of course, at the point uh, x is equals to 2. But you realize that we cannot differentiate this equation when in this format. We first of all need it to be in linear form. So of course to achieve that we are going to expand the given part. So it means that y will be equal to, so I expand this part. So this will be x squared into the second bracket which is x minus 2. Then of course plus 1 into uh, x minus 2. So x squared into x minus 2 then plus 1 into x minus 2. So this will be equal to x squared times x, I'll get x uh, cubed minus a uh, 2, uh, that is 2x squared, that is x squared times negative 2. So I'll have x cubed minus 2x squared, then of course plus 1 times x, I'll get x, 1 times negative 2, I'll get negative 2. Therefore y is equals to uh, x cubed, then of course minus a uh, 2x squared, x cubed minus 2x squared, then of course plus x minus uh, 2. Now from this stage we can get our dy dx, that is the derivative, so dy dx uh, will be given by, so to differentiate we pre-multiply with the coefficient, so we'll have 3x to the power of 3, we subtract 1 from the power, then minus 2 multiplied by, we pre-multiply the coefficient times 2, x power uh, 2, we subtract 1 from the power. Of course this is power 1, so this will be a plus 1, x power 1 minus 1. Then we said the derivative of a constant will give you 0 because this will be negative 2 times 0, then x power a 0 minus 1, which will just give you a 0. So this will be equal to a 3x uh, uh, squared, that is 3 minus 1, you'll get 2, then minus 4x, uh, of course, power 1. So minus 
x power 1, that is 2 minus 1, will give you 1. Then plus 1, uh, x to the power of 0. Then, of course, the last term will just be a 0. So this can be written as 3x squared minus 4x, then, of course, plus 1. Because x power 0 is 1, 1 times 1 will give you a 1. Therefore, this is our derivative, dy dx. So we get the specific gradient, so dy dx, uh, at the point when x is uh, 2, we are given x is 2, I uh, will be given by, so I'll have 3 into my x is 2, so this will be 2 squared minus 4 uh, into x is 2, then plus uh, 1. So on uh, simplification, uh, this is what we're going to get when we simplify uh, our equation. So this will be equal to a 3, then of course into 2 squared will give us 4, then minus a 4, then of course into 2, then plus 1. So that means our dy dx, our dy dx will be given by a 3 by 4, that is a 12, then a negative um, a 4 multiplied by 2, I'll get negative 8, and then of course plus 1. So this will be equal to a 12 minus 8, I'll get a 4, a 12 minus 8 is 4, then plus 1, so dy dx will be equal to 5. So, of course, this is the uh, gradient of the tangent. This is the gradient of the tangent. Now that we have the gradient, and of course, we are given the x coordinate, we can get the y coordinate because we need a point. So, the equation was y is equals to x squared uh, plus 1, then of course, x minus 2. Then the x was given as 2, so that means our y will be equal to uh, 2 squared, then plus 1, then into 2 minus 2. So this will be equal to 2 squared is 4 uh, plus 1, then of course into 2 minus 2. So this will be uh, 4 plus 1, that is 5, uh, multiplied by 0. So the final answer will be 0. So it means that uh, the point, uh, the point which is given by x comma y, uh, will be given by our x coordinate we are given as uh, positive 2, then comma y, the y coordinate is uh, 0. So we need to get the equation of uh, the tangent through that particular point now that we have a point and uh, the gradient. So for us to get the equation, so the two points will be 2 comma 0. Then we pick a general point x comma y. So I'll let this to be x1, y1, then this to be uh, x2, uh, y2. So we know that the gradient is given by changing over changing x, which is y2 minus y1 over uh, x2 minus x1. So our gradient is positive 5, so this will be equal to uh, 5 is equals to uh, y2, of course, is y, so we'll have y minus y1 is 0, then divided by x2, of course, is um, x2 is uh, x, then minus x1, of course, is positive 2. So I'll make this a fraction and do cross multiplication. So this will be equal to, this will multiply with that, then of course, this with that. Uh, so this will be a uh, 5 into x minus 2 is equals to 1 into y minus 0. So that means we are having 5x a uh, minus 5 by 2, I'll get 10 is equals to, uh, this will be y, and then of course minus 0. So this is simply a uh, 5x minus 10 uh, being equal to y. Therefore, the equation is y is equals to a uh, 5x then minus 10. This is the equation of the a uh, tangent. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.